Well, thanks to a unanimous Senate vote, the country may no longer need to spring forward or fall back. The Sunshine Protection Act would essentially end daylight saving time starting in spring of 2023. Grim 2's Janelle Finch is live in the newsroom tonight to share similar efforts in Washington state and how people are looking toward potentially a permanent switch. Mark and Whitney, Governor Jay Inslee signed state legislation in 2019 to end daylight saving time, but Congress stalled that progress for three years on moving it forward. Now there's a chance Washington could finally get what it's been waiting for. Passing out of the Senate, uh, passing the Sunshine Protection Act was a, a big move forward. Representative Marcus Bricelli was a sponsor on Washington's 2019 legislation. He says if the bill does not pass nationally, he predicts Washington will reignite its efforts to push for the change on a state level. Richelli says permanent daylight saving time would provide health, safety, and recreational benefits. As you're, you know, the person who enjoys Spokane and the Pacific Northwest, like, I love those uh, spring and summer nights where we get to really soak up every bit of sun towards the later hours. Looking to make the most of sunlight in the later hours are golfers like Ryan Ashby. Permanent daylight saving time would mean an extra hour of playtime on the course for golfers like him. Living in both Arizona and Washington, he says he's seen the benefit of not having to change his clock two times a year. I think one of the biggest things that I hate is when it gets dark at 4.30 in the afternoon and we can't play anymore. Um, it would be nice to get that extra hour in. I mean, we're limited on time anyway. I will definitely take darker in the morning. Now, the country waits for the House of Representatives to consider passing the act and for President Joe Biden to sign off on it. Then, next spring, we would change our clocks for the last time. If Washington has to move forward to end daylight saving time on a state level, neighboring states California, Oregon, and Idaho could follow suit. This would be to eliminate differences within the time zone. In the newsroom, Janelle Finch, Crem 2 News.